Hi there and welcome to stage 11 which is the final stage of the Tramper Challenge where we're going to all the different coastal countryside mobility sites and we're here today at Seaton Wetlands and as you can see it's slightly different because normally it's just been me but today I've brought other members of the countryside mobility team with me. Andrew you're actually a wheelchair user yourself yeah, so indeed. for you what difference does it make uh, being able to use the Tramper, being able to access the countryside? Oh well yeah obviously with my wheelchair it's uh you know, I could never get around. I don't actually get to get out into the countryside very much. So having something like this, having a tramper means that I can see, uh, see things that I wouldn't normally get to see really easily and uh, simply and smoothly. So yeah, it's, um, it's really valuable. Great. Thank you very much, Andrew. So I've also been joined here by Tim. And Tim, do you want to say what your role is here at the wetlands? Yeah, so I'm one of the countryside team leaders for East Devon District Council. We want our, all our sites to be as accessible as we can make them with the resources we've got um, and we thought that saw the tramper as being a great scheme to be part of and also to open up this part of Devon which isn't got that many other options in terms of tramper hiring sites so it's a way of, of uh, giving this site a, a great kind of opening for, for people that that can't usually get, get to these sites so it's a, it's a great asset for us. Seaton Wellands is made up of salt marshes uh, We've got uh, estuary habitat that you can have views of. We've also got tidal lagoon, um, various reed beds, hedgerows, which are the main habitats here. We've also got about four kilometres of footpaths and trails um, over, I think we've got five hides, three of which are accessible for wheelchairs, two of which you can take the tramper in. So it's a good, it's a good trip. And uh, the wetlands has lived up to its name today in terms of we have had rain today. Um, but maybe people aren't aware of the fact that this is very much a year-round place to visit and do you want to say a little bit about why people should come here during the autumn, the winter time? So coming here in the winter time and the autumn you'll start to see some wading birds um, that, you, that you won't see the rest of the year. So this time of year we've got lapwings, curlews, um, we've, you know, a huge range of wading birds which will be, be here. Even if it is bad weather like today, you know, you can go to one of our hides or one of our shelters and still enjoy your trip. Um, so it's a, yeah, with, with a brand new cycleway that's gone in, um, you also, you, c you don't have to get too muddy to explore this amazing nature reserve. Great. Well, thank you very much for um, sh sharing with us what's on offer here today and, um, and for your partnership. It, I mean, it's very much, Countryside Mobility is very much a partnership project. And so we very much appreciate your involvement. So that's the end of the Tramper Challenge. Um, uh, but we hope you've enjoyed the different videos and please do come out to the different sites that you've seen on these videos They're fantastic places to visit and as Andrew just said the tramper provides an ideal way of getting around um, If you have difficulties in terms of mobility, mm. so thank you for watching the videos uh, Do support Living Options Devon the charity that runs countryside mobility uh, And you'll see details in a moment about how you can do that So thank you very much for watching and I'll sign off here. Thank you